Google have done it again. That's right, Nano Banana Pro has just dropped. This is not a drill. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into the latest version of Google's AI image tool. I'll show you guys how this new model compares to the first version and get you up to speed with all of the tips and tricks you need to get the absolute most out of this game-changing tool. I'm Jack, I've been a VFX artist in the advertising industry for over a decade now, and I've worked with many of the biggest brands on the planet. As a creative professional, I use Nano Banana every single day. So I'm really excited that we finally have access to to Google's new and improved version. And spoiler alert, this thing is insane. If you do enjoy today's content, guys, make sure to whack a like on there for me, consider subscribing, and of course, ring that bell notification icon. All right, let's get straight into it. In terms of the structure of today's video, we'll start by discussing what's actually changed with this new model. Then I'll show you how Nano Banana Pro works and how to best use it for AI advertising and filmmaking. And we'll finish with a comparison between Nano Banana Pro and the older model. So just by watching this one video, you'll come away knowing everything you need to about the new tool. And feel free to skip between the timestamps as you like. So what has actually changed with Nano Banana Pro? Well, Google says the new model focuses on a much higher level of consistency across every generation, accurate text rendering in multiple languages, detailed diagrams and infographics, and a broader real world knowledge for true to life images. And I feel like I have to mention resolution because we can now generate images in both two and four K. So this is a big jump. Nano Banana One, couldn't even generate HD images. So a lot of the time you'd have to upscale your output and that can cause all sorts of strange artifacts in your image. So to access Nano Banana Pro, we're over on Artlist. And if you guys do wanna go ahead and try out the platform, you can click the link down below in the video description. So at the top left of the screen, you can see we have a tab for AI image. So we'll click into here. Of course, we have the option for text to image and image to image, which is what I really wanna focus on with this video. And if we open up this drop down menu, you can see we now have the option for Nano Banana Pro. So let's go ahead and select that. Of course, we have the usual control when it comes to aspect ratio, 16 by nine, nine by 16 for all of your social media needs and one by one as well. The two main things I want to test with Nano Banana Pro are character consistency and product consistency. Because in my mind, these are the two areas that will allow this AI tool to shine when it comes to advertising and filmmaking, which of course are the focuses of this channel. So if we click on this icon here, we're able to upload an image to act as a reference. Now, first of all, I wanna drop in this pretty terrible reference image of me that was just shot on my iPhone. I'm gonna chuck that in. And that of course is gonna serve as the basis for our character. The reason I put myself in a lot of my AI generations isn't just me being arrogant. It's that when you create a new character from scratch using AI, it's a lot more forgiving if we're asking for different camera angles or for that character to carry out certain actions because we have no real world reference for what that character actually looks like. Now you guys, whether you're new to my channel, or whether you've been watching my videos for a while, you're gonna tell if Nano Banana Pro is actually doing what it says it will. Now I wanna go ahead and upload a couple of different products, starting with a classic glass bottle of Coke. Now I'm sure you guys are all pretty familiar with how AI image and video generation works and the kind of pitfalls for both. A lot of the time these models do struggle a fair bit when it comes to keeping text and logos and things like that looking nice and consistent. And obviously this is really, really important if we want to use AI to create assets that are actually usable in the real world. So we're talking about taking AI output and using it within a professional setting. And the next image reference I want to use is for this t-shirt designed by Carhartt. And the reason I've gone with this is because it's a pretty intricate detailed design. So the idea here is that I'm going to take myself as a character put myself within various different scenes. And for all of them, I'm going to be holding that glass bottle of Coke and wearing that Carhartt t-shirt. And that is going to effectively show us how good Nano Banana Pro is at keeping a character consistent and products consistent as well. And of course, bedding them into our location of choosing. And for the text prompt we're going for, the bearded man is overlooking a sprawling city skyline, staring confidently at the camera, bathed in desaturated lavenders and pastel peach hues. So taking a look at our first generation, you can see there is a really nice level of textural detail here. And the lighting and composition feels very true to life as Google promised. 
And considering Nano Banana Pro has given us back me facing a different angle to the image reference that I plugged in, the level of character consistency it's achieved is pretty impressive. It's also managed to keep my baseball cap on backwards. And I ran into an issue a lot with Nano Banana 1, where it would always want my baseball cap facing the right way. The Coca-Cola bottle feels very nice. It's matching the image reference we plugged in exactly as you would expect. We've got a nice level there of text consistency and the logo as well. Looks as you would imagine. There's a good level of prompt adherence going on here, but I do want to direct your eye to the design of the t-shirt. In that small section where it says whip, it isn't quite matching. Of course, it is still impressive that generally speaking, we are being shown a completely different angle of the t-shirt design, and mostly it feels pretty consistent. But of course, it's important to point out any issues with the generation. And if you were going to be using Nano Banana Pro for branding, advertising for your fashion brand, for example, then that would be an issue and you'd need to regenerate once again. Now, I've also been reliably informed that Nano Banana Pro is incredibly good at deep fakes and that there is no kind of moderation when it comes to adding celebrities to an image. So what I've done is I've re-uploaded the reference image of myself and for the text prompt I'm just saying the bearded man on stage arm in arm with Taylor Swift while she performs at a sold out tour. And I think what we'll do is add on to the end here those usual parameters I tend to put at the end of my text prompt to try to get a nice professional looking output. So let's go ahead and generate these without a reference image of Taylor Swift. Just take a look at these generations that we've got back. Yeah, the level of realism and depth here is crazy. It's even given me a set of in-ear monitors as well. So once again, we come back to this idea of world understanding. It clearly knows who Taylor Swift is and her proportions. I would say in terms of character consistency for me, it's generally looking pretty good. I think something about my proportions is slightly off. I think my head looks very big. Uh, next to Taylor Swift's head. Once again here, a nice output. I still feel like my head's a bit big and that's kind of exaggerated even more because I'm close to the camera, but there's still a lot to be impressed here in terms of general composition and textural detail. And really more of the same comments here for our third generation, probably my least favorite here out of the bunch. And we'll just test out one more request here. The bearded man sharing a KFC bucket with Donald Trump in a car park. Because I know that in terms of moderation, trying to generate stuff with Donald Trump can throw up some issues. So this is going to be an interesting test. All right, let's take a look. I think this first generation here is looking really great. There's a lot to really like here. The only thing I would say is that there's a slight lack of world understanding because we're sort of sat on the back of a truck, like a SUV or something, I think. So if we were sat here on the back of a pickup truck, our legs would actually be raised up, wouldn't they? They wouldn't be sloping down as if we're on like a bench or something. But I mean, Trump looks exactly how you would expect. I look like how I would expect as well. This generation here is a little bit of a shame, I would say, just because I look very strange. Look at the size of my forehead. That's crazy. Trump looks really realistic. though. There's some nice textural details here, even some napkins thrown onto the floor. Some issues with the license plates further away from the camera. As I mentioned before, you, you're going to start running into that problem. License plates close to the camera look really good. And all of the different emblems like makes of cars and things like that are crazy. In terms of the branding on the bucket itself, I'm not sure if this was maybe from like a few years ago. If we look at one of our other generations, this is what they're currently using, I think. And all in all, this is looking pretty good considering we didn't put in an image reference. So the final generation is probably my favorite one here. Really nice composition and lighting, heavy shadows across our faces and a really nice level of realism. And what I'd like to do before we move on is I'm just gonna go ahead and upload the image that we have of me and Trump eating KFC. And I wanna to try to make more of like an infographic or like technical breakdown of the image. You guys may remember that one of the areas that Google have said Nano Banana Pro has improved on is diagrams and infographics. So that's kind of what we're trying to test here in a nice fun way. 
First prompt I want to test out is create a diagram breaking down all of the different elements that make up this image. So we'll set that one off. Next, I want to try create a technical drawing of this image. And finally, to test out the text generation very thoroughly and the kind of understanding in terms of composition, we're going to go for turn this image into a 16 by 9 movie poster. So starting with our diagram breaking down the scene, it's a little bit basic. I guess it kind of proves my point about a good level of world understanding though, because it has labeled everything properly from what I can tell. Maybe that's my fault with the text prompt, but yeah, a little bit basic. Let's take a look at the technical drawing. So this I do really like, it's estimated the length and width of certain objects in the scene. And the style itself is looking pretty cool. I love that we have the bucket diameter. Maybe one of you guys can go and check to see if a KFC bucket's diameter is actually 8.5 inches. Put the answer down below in the comments. And let's take a look at our movie poster. This is looking really cool. So once again, nice world understanding. It's created us a pun essentially for the title of our movie, The Bucket List, A Deal With Destiny and chicken. Pretty funny to be fair. We are seeing some issues with the text rendering at the bottom of our poster. It seems to me like this is still a little bit of an issue uh, when it comes to Nano Banana Pro sadly. I think if you were to use this for a professional use case you probably would be better off just adding the text elements yourself. I'm sure we will eventually get there with AI but as you can see it's not completely without its issues. Don't expect it to just magically do everything you can possibly think of. It's impressive, but it's not perfect. So now we'll move on to our comparison of Nano Banana 1 versus Nano Banana Pro. So we can accurately compare how each model performs. For this, once again, I'm using myself as the character. I've put in an image reference of a Versace perfume bottle. And once again, this is a very detailed product in terms of both the pattern, the design, the logos and text on the product as well. So with the generation we got back from Nano Banana 1, it's pretty cool in terms of the composition, but I'm sure you can tell straight away that there are a fair few things wrong. For starters, the perfume bottle is way too big, so there's a little bit of lack of world understanding there. The logo itself has gone quite horribly wrong. We have lost that branding quite badly. The overall design of the perfume bottle looks pretty good, but there is some strange things happening in terms of the overall composite, and the overall image itself does look quite stylized. Particularly if you focus in on my face, there is a distinct lack there of skin texture and the imperfections we would be expecting from a real photo. And moving on to the Nano Banana 2 output, what a massive difference. The level of texture here in terms of my skin as well as my beard is pretty mind blowing. The perfume bottle is the correct size. There are even imperfections when it comes to my fingernails. The lighting on my face looks great. And also it's managed to keep my cap backwards. If we look back at the Nano Banana 1 output, it always wants to turn my baseball cap around, but here it's managed to keep it the correct Way. Now what we did was take the output from Nano Banana Pro and run it back through both models. And for the text prompt we've gone for show a wide shot profile angle, the bearded man is wearing a plain white oversized t-shirt, beige cargo trousers and white vintage trainers. Nano Banana 1 did produce us a nice looking image I do have to say, but again we do have a bit of a lack of texture and my baseball cap is still on the wrong way even though we gave it an image reference of my baseball cap on backwards. It's a little bit hard to tell if the branding has remained intact on the perfume bottle because it is so small in frame, but at least it is the right sort of size. But switching over to the Nano Banana 2 output, you can see for starters that the baseball cap is on backwards as it should be. The texture and design of both my trousers and my trainers, they seem a bit more attuned to the current fashion trends, I would say. Trainers themselves look to be those classic Reebok ones, and the trousers look exactly like something you'd pick up in Uniqlo, for example. What's really cool as well is this sand that's kind of emanating from the perfume bottle matches the direction and scale of our image 
reference. So there is a nice degree of consistency there. Now, plugging back in our original Nano Banana Pro generation, we tested out another text prompt. We went for a close cinematic shot framed over the bearded man's shoulder, focusing on the vast desert landscape. He is wearing a plain white oversized t-shirt. So for Nano Banana 1, you can see once again, there is a distinct lack of realistic texture when it comes to the character and the fabric of the t-shirt itself. All of the main details kind of match, but it doesn't feel entirely true to life. And once again, that baseball cap is on the wrong way. Now switching over to Nano Banana Pro, this is looking insane. Just look at that texture on the back of my neck, those realistic hairs, the imperfections in the beard itself. The texture on the t-shirt is like it's not been ironed, but it's also not really badly creased either. And that level of realism is just insane. Even the composition itself is really kind of powerful and cinematic. And for the final text prompt, we went ahead and tested a dramatic shot looking up at the bearded man from below making him appear powerful, intimidating, and heroic. So we're going for a low angle shot here. Nano Banana 1 uh, just did not get the memo here. This just looks like the image reference. It just didn't really seem to change anything. But look at what we got back from Nano Banana Pro. For starters, let's talk about what isn't quite right. Let's get that out of the way. The branding on the perfume bottle has gone a little bit wrong here. And remember, this is one of the features that we expected to improve. I think generally speaking with our testing, it's been pretty good. But you can see here that sometimes you're going to get generations that aren't quite what you're after. The overall design and scale are both looking good, though. So we do at least have some level of product consistency. Now let's talk a little bit about the angle, the general composition, because this is looking really great, very dramatic. Once again, my cap is on backwards like we asked for in the Nano Banana 1 generation. Just does not want to put that thing where I want it. The level of skin texture looks insane. The stubble just underneath the neckline of my beard. All of these tiny little details really create a realistic looking image. Those little lighting reflections in my glasses, the visible pores on my cheeks. This is a really impressive demonstration of Nano Banana Pro. So guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to whack a like on there for me. If you're new, consider subscribing and of course, ring that bell notification icon so you never miss any future content. If you do have any questions whatsoever about Nano Banana Pro, be sure to drop them down below in the comment section. I'll reply to as many as I possibly can. Today is a big day in the world of AI tech, so enjoy it guys and happy testing. I'll catch you on the next video.